Good morning, you guys. It is monthly grocery shopping day. My name is Brittany, and you can find me here at penniesindopearls.com, or Pennies Into Pearls on YouTube, but also at penniesindopearls.com. And this is where I talk all about living your dream life on less, helping you guys find all ways and any ways to help you save money so you can spend that money the way you want to. So one of the huge things that I do is a monthly meal plan, which results in a monthly meal monthly grocery shopping trip is what I'm trying to say and so what is happening today is I am going to three different stores I'm gonna be going to food for less instead of Target actually um, I usually go to a sprout and then Costco so we are here at food for less right now and um, I'm gonna take you guys along with me show you um, kind of some price points that I look for when I'm doing my monthly meal shopping monthly grocery shopping and um, if you guys have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comments below also make sure you follow me on Instagram because I am loving insta stories right now anybody else love those it is so fun to do I can just do them real quick so it's a great way for me to get out um, content to you guys really quick right away um, and which is great for deals so let's go inside and get shopping and this is my shopping buddy huh bud we ready to go shopping? Get all our groceries for the entire month at one time, helping us save money and save time? I thought so. Let's go. This right here is a hot price on sugar. Normally, I pay about like two fifty to three dollars for a five pound bag of sugar. Oh, can't get it. But this is ninety nine cents for four pounds. You have to buy three, but I'm gonna buy three, get twelve pounds of sugar for three dollars. Awesome. So when I'm meal planning, even though I am trying to keep the meals as cheap as possible, I still like to do a variety of cuisines. I'm pretty fancy. So I'll do like um, barbecue, Asian, um, Mexican, you know, mixing it up. But that can kind of get expensive. But let me show you something that I just found. So this is at Food for Less, and these um, Pad Thai noodles, um, the rice noodles, are usually really expensive, and I'll get like a 14 ounce for $5. But look at this, 14 ounces for $3.99, and then this one is 16 ounces for $2.50. That is a pretty good deal. Okay, so baking season is coming up, so I need to tell you guys some price points on all of the baking goods since I do a lot of baking actually I'm thinking that I need to share this info with you guys so let me show you what I usually spend on the essentials of baking now when it comes to baking I am NOT a name brand girl I will buy what's cheapest on mostly everything and it works out great for us there's certain things that you are gonna need some cake flour for and um, this is one of the brands that I usually buy for cake flour and this is a 32 ounce box for $3.29, which is a really great price. Um, you're gonna be looking for $3.50 or less on that box. Next up is the flour. I usually spend no more than $2.50 um, per five pounds of all purpose flour. And this is on sale right now for $1.79. With the holidays coming up, there's gonna be lots of really great prices, so you definitely wanna stock up on all of these things. And then I just showed you the sugar, but then also with the powdered sugar, again, the off-brand is only $1.59. And if you're doing the C&H, um, it's on sale now, but still um, almost a whole dollar more. So with powdered sugar and then also with brown sugar, I don't like to spend more than $1.75 on a bag, so this $1.59 price is really great. Baking a soda is something that you can usually get for very cheap. One pound box of baking soda, you don't want to spend more than a dollar on normally. But if you look over here on the off brand, it's only 59 cents, which totally works just as well. So go for the off brand in this case. Off brand. <laughs> now, when it comes to mac and cheese, I know there's lots of opinions out there, but I'm just going to tell you guys these prices anyway. I will never spend more than a dollar. I won't even pay a dollar twenty, a dollar fifteen. It's a dollar or less. But if you actually go through a lot, we're going to check out prices at Costco, and I'm thinking they're even cheaper. And here's a little tip for you guys um, when it comes to making your shopping list. What I like to do is I like to put next to each item how much I'm planning on paying 
have been subtotaling. And then if I come into the store and end up paying less or more, then I'm gonna mark next to the side to note for next time. But this is just a way to make sure before you're at the checkout that you're gonna be staying under budget. Cause you don't wanna get up to the cash register with cash in hand and not have enough cash. And then having to either dip into your savings or whatever, just helps you stay on budget. Here is the price of those granola bars at the grocery store. Um, and these are really expensive actually, even though they're saying they're on sale. Um, for this 7.4 ounce box of any Nature Valley or granola bars at all, they go on sale all the time for $167 per box, and that is a box of six of them. So $167 or less is your price point on any of your granola bar, snack bar type thing. Pasta sauce is another thing that goes on sale all the time, as well as pasta noodles. And you should never, somebody wants to be on camera. Hey, you let go of my arm, dude. So when you do see it for a dollar or less on, on sale is when you want to stock up. Otherwise, you're gonna be like me and stuck with paying a um, dollar fifty, which isn't horrible because normally they are closer to two dollars. But still, when you see them for a dollar or less, stock up. And here's a behind the scenes, never before heard tip on when you're monthly grocery shopping. We have all of these groceries. Don't forget to empty out your trunk. Oh no. Luckily we only have one pit kid with me, but we're gonna have to make a pit stop before we head to the other stores because this just isn't gonna work. Is Costco fun? I see something over here. I'm not sure what you're gonna see. What was that? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so tortillas are definitely something that I'm always buying at Costco. I've never seen a better price anywhere. So normally what we are going for are the burrito size, 10 inch flour tortillas. They're $3.69 each and there is a 24 count. So that is a really great price for flour tortillas. If you use that much corn tortillas, you can freeze them. I found that this brand doesn't really freeze that well, but um, if you use that many, also a really great price. Ground beef is also a really great price here at Costco. Um, depending on your area, you might find prices cheaper, but for this 88% lean ground beef, um, I usually don't pay more than around $3.30 per pound for ground beef. And I like to buy it in these little like um, patties because then I just take two of them and then freeze two of them at a time, making it really easy to defrost. One of the things I love about Costco is they make it really easy to be sure that you are getting the best price because up on every little tag sign they tell you what it costs per unit, per ounce, per item, and that way it makes it really easy to compare. So for these, it's about nine cents per tablet. And then if you go over to the name brand, it's about almost 20 cents per tablet. Making that kind of a no-brainer. Paper towels and toilet paper, also another thing that I'm always buying at Costco. You can find cheaper rolls and um, packages, but I just find that these actually last me longer because the quality of the product is so much better. So they're usually about $16 per um, pack of toilet paper, and then again, about $16 per pack of paper towels. Side note for you guys, a lot of this free package, pre-done food is super convenient, but you can make it on a Sunday and then freeze it yourself and it's going to be, you know, at least half the cost of what you're going to pay paying for it already done at the grocery store. So if you are on a tight budget or looking to cut your expenses, this is one way. Seasonings are also another really great thing to stock up on at Costco you are going to be spending close to these prices if you buy retail at just a grocery store for something that's a quarter of the size. Here is the macaroni and cheese at Costco and it is about 81 cents per box. So that is a really great price. If you go through a lot of it, then definitely stock up here. And here it is, our Costco haul in all this glory. Okay, so we're home now. I'm a little bit tired. Actually, it wasn't that bad today. But when you do your monthly grocery shopping or any grocery shopping really, 
What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to get some rebates. If you already bought the products, you might as well get some money back. And it is so easy with using these rebate apps. My favorite one to use right now is called Ibotta. You may have heard of it before. They are so awesome and you can actually get money back on more than just groceries. So I plan on doing an entire video dedicated to that because I just love it so much. I actually got to go and get a bunch of new clothes thanks to Ibotta. So I will have a link down below for you guys to sign up through. And when you sign up using my link, you're going to automatically get a $10 um, in your stash or your like money stash or whatever it's called in your balance on your Ibotta account. So use the use my link down below and to sign up for Ibotta. And I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to use it. And I do this every time I come home from the grocery store. It takes like not even three minutes maybe. So this is what you do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go and download the Ibotta app. Like I told you, make sure to use the link down below or my code that I have over here on the side. Um, that way you get an extra $10 once you get your first rebate. So this is what the app looks like when you first open. This is where your profile is and where you'll see all of your money that you've accumulated. This is what I've had um, just in the past couple weeks. Um, that I've had built, been building up for the last couple weeks. And you can redeem it for any of these gift cards and then also you can redeem for cash through your PayPal, which is pretty awesome. Now today we're going to be talking about getting rebates on your groceries, but I just wanted to mention real quickly that they have all these other offers like for H&M where you can get cash back for just doing your normal shopping that you're already going to be doing so you might as well get money back, right? Now for groceries, you're gonna to go to the groceries tab and then you're gonna search for what store you are specifically shopping at. So each of these rebates are gonna be specific to some stores and some are available at more than one store. But you can only redeem for the store that you purchased at. Now one of the reasons that I bought it is my favorite rebate app currently is because they have a lot of offers that are not brand specific. So like this roast, it doesn't matter what brand or supplier you're buying from, you just go in, you click it, you answer your little survey, you then click unlock, and then your rebate is available for you to redeem. And this is the same process that you're going to do for any rebate that you're trying to claim. From the main screen underneath your specific store where you're shopping, you'll see that you can search by um, most popular and then also by categories like breakfast, frozen foods, meat, dairy, and which just makes it really easy as you're going through your grocery list to see what you um, are going to be shopping for and if there is a rebate available for it or not. Once you're done selecting all the products that you purchased and that you are going to be claiming a rebate for and you're finished answering all of the survey questions, which is like one question, it takes like two seconds, then you're going to click that little button down at the bottom that says verify purchase. Next, what you're going to want to do is click on verify purchase. You're going to select which item you're going to scan and then line the barcode up in the little square box and then it will click and let you know if it matches. Then a little button's going to pop up that says capture receipt. You're going to click that and then um, you line up your receipt in the little box that they have for you. Just like taking a picture, you hit the capture button again and then if your receipt is really long, you can click add and then take another picture of the rest of the receipt. Click finish and it's going to ask you if there's any more items you want to add to your receipt and then it's going to process it and then usually within just a couple minutes even that money will be rebated to your account. So now that we are all done uploading our receipts and getting our rebates in order so we can get a little extra money for shopping, um, let me walk you guys through just real quick all the things that I bought to kind of give you a better idea of everything that we buy on a monthly basis. Keep in mind that we do have $100 set aside, $25 each week of the month that we use on milk and fresh produce. So let me show you. So this is it. This is our monthly grocery shopping trip. I still need to go and get fresh produce um, from Sprouts for um, this coming week, but this is pretty much everything. And so let me tell you that for the consumable groceries, not like our paper towels and all of the like household needs, um, for our consumable groceries for this grocery trip, we total at 200 Oh my goodness, 
$260 for groceries. And then for our household goods, it was only $52. So let me just walk you guys real quick through everything that we bought. And this is from two stores, from Costco and then our Food for Less. So you guys will be able to tell pretty much what we got. All the bagged items are from Food for Less. So we got some dishwashing soap, crackers, refried beans, great thing to buy. Any canned food that you need more than like two of, great to buy at Costco. Milk is always the best price at Costco. Apple sauce, fabric, I mean, um, yeah. What are these called? Dryer sheets. Got some water, then um, some trail mix. Feta is the absolute best price at Costco. You're gonna pay, this is about $7. You're gonna pay about $5 for a third of this at any other store. Peanut butter, of course, is a pretty good deal at Costco. Um, then these indiv individually packaged um, beef jerky, kind of a treat, these two things for us. This month, since we were pretty low on our budget, I decided to splurge and we got these for, um, to as a little bit of a more healthier snack. I know I'll get some comments about those. So then we got some chips. These things are pretty good. Actually, little man's eating them over there. How are they, bud? Is it good? Yeah, he likes <laughs> He likes them. Trust me, he's on his third one. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> you're so funny. Then some more snacks and some crackers down there from Costco. These are all from home for food for less. I always buy shredded cheese there. Um, I've heard that people are like, well, why don't you just shred the cheese yourself? Um, it's actually only about a dollar to two dollars more to per ounce, not per ounce, but like total to buy it shredded. So that's just something I don't, my, you know, that's just something that I decided to spend a little bit more money on, I guess. Some chicken nuggets. I know that I need, um, you can make those yourself as well, but you know, you just have to decide um, if you have time to do it yourself or not. Then the meat, like I showed you guys, soy sauce, um, taco seasoning, butter, bananas, and then chicken breasts are always the best price. Um, I get them for $1.99 for the boneless, skinless chicken breast at Costco. Sometimes I'll see them for as low as $1.69, but that's kind of rare here in California. Then I told you guys about the paper towels, toilet paper. A dozen eggs for, I mean, five dozen eggs for $5, which is awesome deal. And then we stock up on our syrup at Costco for sure. Then at Food for Less, I showed you guys the deal on sugar. And then we bought some chicks at Food for Less. Cocoa powder, I've never used this brand, but we'll try it out. Um, baking soda, like I talked about. Olive oil, because we do a lot of our own baking. Some marinara sauce, because we don't have any more tomato plants any longer. Just neat, um, off-brand ranch dressing for the kids. Then this is our favorite, favorite hot sauce. I don't know why. And it's so cheap for this huge bottle. Like, can you even see my hand? For this huge bottle, it was like $1.50. So it's delicious and cheap. Then some pastas, some oats. Lastly, I only needed one can of beef broth, but if I needed more than three, I would have bought that at Costco. And then a couple of cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, and some enchilada sauce. And then, um, I stocked up on some baking supplies, so I got 10 pounds of flour, and then two pounds of powdered sugar, and two pounds of brown sugar. Now, I want you guys to let me know if you'd be interested in me doing a video kind of all about where to find the best prices for seasonal cooking. So with the holidays coming up, a lot of people do a lot more cooking at home. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in. We'll say if five or more people say they're interested in that. Hey, handsome. <laughs> then um, I'll do a video. You got a sticker? Cool. I will do a video all about where I buy my um, bulk cooking supplies for the holidays and some price points that you guys want to look for so you're not overspending on your homemade deliciousness. So that's my Costco, my monthly grocery haul for the month of October. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, hello and welcome. 
And um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave because you don't want to miss out on any videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.